Garbage deck activated. Oh, did we get a garbage deck activate? Sorry, Swimmy Boy. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, what is it? Oh! <laughs> okay, I, I actually don't mind this. This is okay. Garbage deck activate. Yeah, this is fine. This isn't that bad, dude. This is fine. M missing lethal is... Is not a phrase. Missing lethal can only work if they have zero mana. That's the only situation we're allowed to use the phrase missing lethal. Okay, nice. We got our we got our garbage deck activate win, and now we can continue playing uh, playing ranked. Let's go. <laughs> Scam. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, we'll we'll play the we'll play the garbage deck activate. <laughs> I was just kidding, guys. <laughs> It doesn't ask you if you want to import deck continuously. No. When you import a deck, it takes your clipboard, it copies it, and then it blanks your clipboard. Your clipboard is blank after that. This is kind of weird. I'm still, like, looking at this list. I guess I kind of have to keep Shared Spoils in my opening hand. Mystic Shard is kind of, like, a weird card. Keeping Mystic Shot in the opening hand is actually, like... It's sort of baity sometimes. It's like, what am I hitting? A Bright Steel Protector? This is either a very good hand or a very bad hand. And we'll only find out three turns from now. Seems good. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna plunder this guy so fucking hard. Oh, god damn it. Who attacks here? Come on, man. Let me plunder you. Come on, dude. Let me smash. Give it up. Give it up! Let me in! He kind of has to block this. Oh! Sejuani trigger downed. Okay. We're going to get some uh, wolfy boys up in here. Only one Tusk Rider? I don't know, man. I don't make the deck. It's a garbage deck activate. Double Wolf Rider is pretty rough in the opener. It's pretty bad in general, but it has the chance of being really good. It's strong, but inconsistent. Hawk? Yeah, I guess you can Hawk first, right? I don't know. I don't really know if I want to Hawk this turn. How bad is it to not Hawk this turn? I think this is fine. Hawk first? Guys, if I had Hawked, I would be buffing my Hearth Guard. What are we drawing off of Hawk that we would rather have Hawked this turn? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You'll see far. Oh god, he actually has Ranger Dissolve. I would do it here. I would, I would smash Ranger Dissolve. That's easy. He's got it. And he's gonna... That's a misplay. You always use it there. Not even, not a, not even close to not using it there, right? You always use it there, right? I don't know. It's it it is kind of close, but it's like it's a really good aggressive play, and it's kind of guaranteed to get value that turn. I think I can keep the investigator up though, probably. I don't know, how do we how do we trigger our plunders? We're gonna need to like draw into a Teemo or something. Like a 2-2 two -two Teemo to trigger these plunders. Light the signal fires. Uh, we drew into the Teemo like the good player that we are. This is such a weak play. I'm just kind of like conceding that I lose to a singular combat for no reason. It's like any good player I think would take a singular combat there too. It's like I could if I if I didn't want to troll, I could just play my big 566 six and just like fucking start ha ha. Look at this. This one's even bigger. What if I actually don't troll this spot? What if I just play like a normal human being? <laughs> Sorry, Tito. Slow down, will you? I mean, we can outgrind anything. Imagine not trolling. See, the thing is here, guys, we have a very, uh, we have a very good situation. We have a, uh, we don't need to, we don't need to troll here. Yeah, the 1-1 one -one Omen Hawk looks good here, right? I don't know. All we have to do is basically just put a bunch of stats on this board and we're Gucci. Looks like a good spot for a 6-8.
I mean, the 3 3 Omen Hawk, uh, it's not doing too much. The Chump Pump is a 5 4. It's like he swings with Cythria. We go into the even exchange here. 3 2 into this, 3 2 into this. Tank 5. I mean, I think it's just Mega Trolley to do anything other than Spirit Walker here, right? It's like greeting this plunder is just like a losing play for no reason. There is truth in blood. Like, why lose when you can win? He has resolve. I mean, he kind of has to. Stands in our way. But it's fine. I mean, we still we still have no choice but to do this. this is our home. Waiting for plunder is too greedy. Yeah, waiting for plunder is is actual troll play here. I mean, we don't we don't even have a plunder. It's like, what 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 does the plunder look like? The plunder looks like blocking with Omen Hawk. So we play Omenhawk as a blocker, he swings in, we do like a half ass block, we play like Teemo and then boom Kuroki, and then we open attack with just those two, that way we dodge the single combat. I mean he has two mana here, he can single combat the boom Kuroki this turn. It's like, we'd have to go really far out of our way to try to get a plunder off. The odds he's on single combat are pretty high, and if we try to go in for a plunder that just loses us the game off of not working. Like, we, we don't have to commit for a play, basically. We can just play the value we know we have here. Because, I mean, our only job here is to outvalue him, basically. We don't really need to do anything else. One single combat down. I think that makes her play Omen Tito Wolfrider. Like, I can't attack with Boom Crew because I'm just losing a blocker for no reason. And he's one singular combat down, which means our Tito probably has a swing. That will probably accomplish something. Sweet, he's tapped out. Oh, I mean, this is pretty good. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's just going to block with the Ranger. Eh, it's probably not worth this health. It's like, we can kind of devalue this Ranger anyway. But yeah, I mean, we're mostly just getting, like, as much wide stats on the board as possible. Our only objective here is to outvalue him long term. Nothing else really matters. Opponent has zero mana. Time to spam Mist Lethal. <laughs> you got me there, dude. I, I can't, I can't argue with that. Babe, I'm breaking up with you. It's not you, you were poggers. It's me. I'm Omega Lol. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is PP hands, but it has to be done. I've just been feeling Papega and our relationship has been weird shit for months. It's time to end it, no Kappa. I haven't actually seen that pasta before. I don't know why, but that, that one does resonate with me. I like that pasta. Again, don't know why. I don't think it's objectively great. Bye, Tito. Man, my face when the my face when Tito is lower value than a one-one Omen Hawk. Yeah, this should be okay. The 1-1 one, one is, uh, protects us a bit against the second Garen, if he has second Garen for judgment here. Whereas, like, if we put the 6-5, the second Garen could be a win condition. I don't know, it doesn't really do shit here, though. It's like, his Garen still dies, he ends up Garenless, and I just play more units and win the game. I'm sorry, Tito. It just had to go down this way. It's not you, Tito. It's me. You were poggers. I'm Omega Lol. <laughs> Goodbye, Tito. I've gotta I've gotta dump this Tito's ass, dude. I, I found I found a better Tito, dude. Like, come on. You listen, you would dump that Tito too. Like look, look! We have a 4-4, four -four, guys! It's time to drop that zero and get myself a hero. Ooh, that's not bad. But yeah, I mean, he has a problem doing like some some long term out value here. I think. So basically, a large part of what we were uh, doing this game is playing it safe. When you're in a dominating position, you want to like take safe approaches instead of risky ones. And from like early position, he didn't have any aggression. And we were taking like early value trades with the deck that happens to go later. 
And that's why on 5 we played Hearthguard instead of trying to go for something unreliable. And it's a really early 6-6 six, six Hearthguard that trades well into his board and doesn't really let us die. And then on 6 we played Spirit Walker, which is like a good thing that stops down his aggression and just gives reliable stats and trades with the board in a reliable way. Doing anything other than those two plays is just taking a risk on a favorite situation, right? I mean, it's Demacia. Demacia can't really punish development that much. Yeah, I mean, I can do this one here, right? Sorry, Boom Crew. It's not you, Boom Crew. It's me. You were poggers! <laughs> Overwhelmed Tito? Yeah, dude. Our, our Tito is, is fucking nuts! <laughs> How worried am I? Could, I? could I actually, like, lose on this attack? Is there a chance he could, like, not just lo lose to me? So this one needs to not die, right? Because if it dies, it loses the aura. So it should be attacking on the end like a normal human being. Can he survive this? It's like, okay, so Tito hits him immediately. Then it's like, okay, Radiant will neutralize one of my attacks, so he's chilling at 11. I mean, he actually totally can survive this. I probably shouldn't attack with my Omen Hawk. I probably can't attack with Trump Wump either. I give him like way too good of a Radiant Guardian. This sort of suck. This is kind of like... This is sort of weird. I, I can't attack with more than just this, I think. Like, I can't give him any good trades. Because we don't really have a closeout on this swing. I don't know. I mean, this 6-3 is already giving him a decent trade. But I think I'm good enough with it. Nah. I mean, the 6-3 already might just be a bad attack. Maybe just Tito, 6-5, and 8-8. Eight, eight. The fact that 8-8 is pretty protected here is nice. I mean, repost is pretty scary on my 8-8. But, I mean, the, the pressure from this Tito is real. It's like, going to 28 puff caps means he actually has to take, like, a pretty conservative block. He can't be greedy here. He has to assume he's drawing, like, two or three puff caps. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, I mean, he's stabilizing the board, like, he's not taking too much damage here. He's getting his double value off of lifesteal, which is kind of what he needs. So, that's kind of like how he's doing alright here. And that's a large part of the reason why we can't swing bigger than that. We just kind of have to play it safe, like a normal human being. We still on the outgrind, though. It's like, he's on a one-card hand. Sejuani's kind of a neat top deck. Doesn't do an incredible amount, but it's neat enough. His swings look kind of bad here, right? I mean, I don't think there's any reason to play Sejuani. Am I missing something? Is there something I'm worried about? Wow, it really is second, Garen. Okay. If it's second, Garen, shouldn't he do like a full swing? This is kind of weird. God, could we actually lose to a second Garen here? Is that actually possible? This is pretty awkward. I mean, I have to take blocks, though. We can play around just Ranger's Resolve, at least. I'll do this. Yeah, it's second Garen. Oh, and Yielding. Oh, okay. That's fine. Am I worried about developing in? I mean, I kind of have to play Sejuani on offense. The fact that Sejuani says this round is just, like, a little vulnerable. <laughs> this fucking raccoon just bark? I mean, isn't using it on the Garen always correct here? Doesn't it have to be? And I guess I just attack Garen with my clump of lumps to maximize my damage? I guess. I don't... Hmm. I don't know. This is kind of weird. So it's just like this? Yeah, I guess so. Hmm, okay. So she'll level up during the attack. I don't actually know it worked like that. I've literally never played this Sejuani card. <laughs> so she wants to be as close to the right as possible. So she wants to be like this, so that he has to block. Okay, that seems good. Judgment. I mean, if he drew Judgment off the top, then, I mean, he's fucking good. A fucking god-tier player if he drew Judgment off the top. I can't- I can't- holy fucking shit. Bro. <laughs> what? 
I mean, I can't, I can't actually really play around that. I think I can attack with one less unit, but it doesn't matter. I'll still, I'll still lose the game if I don't kill him this turn. Like, okay, this guy's just good, man. I, I just, I'm just not that good. Oh well, guess he got us. He's not even emoting. That's the rudest thing. I would at least emote here. Better player one? Yeah, I guess so. You can play around. So the, the thing about uh, cards to play around is you kind of have to ask yourself, how do, I, how do I win if he has X, right? And play out the next few turns. Like, we can attack with one or even two less units there, and if he has judgment, he'll still kill three of my units, and then his immortal Garen will still outgrind me. Like, we can't beat a judgment. We can survive one extra turn against it, but because we can't beat it, we can't play around it. So, if he's gonna top deck, is what... What, what was that? What was that exactly? An 8%? An 8% judgment? Then we can't win. It's like... <laughs> well, it's fine. It's just like, look, listen. We were having a good game there. But sometimes, the better player just wins. Or did he play a second Garen and I missed it? He did play two Garens? Oh. I guess it was a 4% of them. He didn't, he didn't shuffle one back? Yeah, okay, 4%. You're right. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a play that gives me a 96% chance to win. Because we can't, we can't go higher than 96 there.